best GPUs add graphics power to your laptop. Laptops are a great option when you need to run small errands such as do a presentation or watch your favourite online series. But can you play high tax in graphic games or attach VR headsets? No, right? But it's not impossible. If you have a laptop with a Thunderbolt 3 port, then you can attach an external GPU, which allows you to get the benefits of a NVIDIA or AMD graphics card. To help you find the best GPU, we have tested out the best ones available. And here's a list. The Akitio Node. It's priced at $268 and offers a rather boring design and unintuitive accessibility. The sleek black box like the Razor Core and the Akito Node do not give out much of a bling. It's the longest GPU on the list. The Akitio Node has a Thunderbolt 3 port and a power port at its inconvenience. Also, opening the Akito Node was a difficult task. Talking about compatibility, the T470 is only ultra portable and that would work with the node. Sonnet EGFX Breakaway Box. This is priced at 258 and comes with an easy to install graphics card. It's rather wide and is sure to take up a sizable space on your desk. The device only offers a Thunderbolt 3 port and a port for the AC power cord. It's not very compatible and we had to get drivers to get this thing working. Power Color Devil Box. Definitely not the prettiest or most ergonomic GPU out there, but it's priced at 369 and the Devil Box is a rather good choice. The front of it has a section of silver aluminium and what looks not so flattering, another silver piece, sits along the top and that doesn't appeal much. And the sides of the box feature four silver bolts, which again is a big no-no. It has a USB Type-C port, a Thunderbolt 3, a Gigabyte, Ethernet and a port for the AC cord. Razor Core. The Razor Core is priced at $499 without GPU. Despite its heavy frame, the device uses very less space. Aiding to it, it squeezes into small spaces. Aesthetic-wise, the device looks like a Razor product. The core is made of jet black CNC or aluminium, which looks sleek and stylish. It has the trademark chroma lighting to the bottom front. The device core has four USB 3.0 ports, a Thunderbolt 3, a Gigabyte Ethernet and a power port. Overall, the device is pretty compatible with most devices. Next up, we have the Aurorus GTX 1070 Gaming Box. It comes at a price of $589. Comes pre-installed with a GPU. Hence, you can save money you spend on purchasing a separate graphics card. In the long run, it's the cheapest option. So it's an adorable looking GPU. The sizing makes it the device a good one to go. The device has three USB 3.0 ports, an orange quick charge USB 3.0 port, a HDMI, a display port, a pair of DVI-2 ports, a Thunderbolt 3 and a power jack. The only low key in this one is that since you lose the ability to swap out GPUs, you might want to purchase another one. The ASUS Rogue XG Station 2. One of the most expensive GPUs priced at $549. If you can handle the alien look of the box and its price tag, then this is a great one to start with. It supports a sizable gaming battle station. The front, top and right black plastic sides of the device carry thick lines meant to mimic circuitry gone wild, giving it an alien showpiece effect. The red Tesla coil in the front lights up to life, while the interior lights illuminate the box with eye-catching red light. It has a Thunderbolt 3 and a power port all built into the back side of the box. It supports Oculus Rift and HTC Vive. Also, it's one of the easiest GPUs to open and both sides fall away when you slide the long button on the top right toward back of the box.